Hey guys, okay, this is Poison TV, and I have a game from yesterday. Uh, go for SE2. It was between Dignitas Tafel and EXG EU's Soul. Now, I kind of uh, jumped. I see. I'm skip the early game because I feel almost there's a little bit of wasted content um, sometimes showing it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump into the game now. What we see here is we see Tafel going for this 15 pool before hatchery, this is something he does all the time, it denies 11-11s, um, any kind of early mean, a marine aggression, it guarantees him that he won't just uh, be knocked out sh of a tournament stupidly, and I mean, fair play to the guy, he's got to go for SE2 finals numerous times, he's a bit of a regular, um, we have Sol here, just kind of a bit grumpy that he did, he went for a 15 pool and then he did the drone scout, so he was extra extra safe does do some economy for it, but um, of course uh, he, he remains alive. Um, anyhow, yeah, this is this is going to be a mech game. I won't like surprise you, um, but it, yeah, it was a really interesting build from Soul. Um, and uh, anyhow, first thing to note here is we have this third CC coming down very 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 early, which to be honest is a risk. Um, because he's only got one rack at the moment, he's got double gas as well, um, no bunker at the front, no wall off. Um, I mean, you could essentially put this third in your main, um, but he's just going to plant it on down. Um, however, Tefl is going to be putting down his own third hatch down, so there isn't going to be any aggression just yet. And so he's on no gas right now, only just taking the extractor at uh, 5.20 and I believe it's something like 2 minutes 30 until you can actually have speed from the moment you take your gas. Um, so Marine's forming on up, he takes a double gas behind this as well and just constantly produces Marines from here and yeah, third is finishing up, there we go, there is the bunker beginning to fall, form up and you have a factory coming down behind here so um, so far so good um, Tefl not really spreading his creep at the moment um, but so I want to just focus on Soul's build for the time being um, as, as I say Tefl doesn't do anything too weird and wonderful in this game um, he tends to play Roach Hydra a lot um, against everything uh, and is very very good at doing so so anyhow um, yeah so the factory does finish up we've got two more gases instantly coming down into the uh, natural as well, um, so he's really going to be building up his gas very, very fast. Usually, this doesn't come down as early, but you'll see why he does it soon enough. Um, Armory also coming down, and uh, just producing a couple marines. He's going to fill up this bunker, have a few spare, um, and then do the factory switch. Because early armory does give you access to how about and actually. He goes for siege tank production. Oh, I don't forget about this. Okay, so he goes for siege tank production. There you go. Two marines have been produced, and then he switches, puts down an additional factory, builds his third factory, and uh, yeah, going up towards that three factory um, mech play basically with the armory. So have plus one. Um, this is yeah, so far so good for him. He's uh, playing very very nicely. I feel that maybe he's a little bit vulnerable to some timing at this point just because of the lack of units um, but he does have siege tanks and as I say he's uh, slowly building up now engineering pay coming down a good time 8 minutes uh, pretty sensible considering that you sometimes for a 2 base you need to play you see um, well you'll see meters at 10 minutes and then you know for that engineering base mines and so on you'll be in a world of trouble. Third, now beginning to saturate. Let's have a look at the vision for Tefl. Yeah, he you now knows he's going up against Mech and we see an infestation pit coming down behind this. Where's the infestation pit? There we go. So he can access Swarm Host from here. He can go into 2-2. Two -two. But we have 1-1 one -one for the uh, roaches and roach speed on the way. A lot of roaches in production. Two more gases coming down at his third. Have a look at the drone count. It's very, very even and you can see why because obviously he took his third extremely, extremely quickly. Um, the, the reason Sol is putting this three bunker here um, is because you've got this dead space between your natural and of course your third. 
and if you know it, it, siege tanks they're very very vulnerable they're very very exposed um, and I really like this fortification he's even putting turrets in there as well uh, transferring his marines widow mines very very fortified defense here um, there you go siege tanks as well and yes yeah, so, so far so good for the guy um, now what else is he doing here okay so we've got uh, where is it uh, blue flame he also starts um, and he also builds a star pot and uses his barrack constantly put put on his add-ons as well and um, we've got plus one on the way and uh, yeah this is where things start to get a little bit interesting uh, because I've never seen this before is that Sol throws down this ghost academy and an additional barracks he's got the sensor tower at the front and um, yeah just building more factories, more turrets um, you know just really getting ready for those meter timings and at the moment we've got Teffel I mean he's not really take, taking any damage, he's had no pressure whatsoever but um, I would definitely say Sol is on a level footing right now um, we have Hellbats as well on the way, Siege Tanks and Plus 2 get started and there we go, there's the Mobius Reactor for Ghost, so Ghost? I don't know I, I, I just thought it was very interesting the fact that he, you know you don't see Ghost being used very often in TVZ, not since Wings of Liberty when they got nerfed I think he's using his Brood Lords and Ultras and so on but um, yeah so uh, we'll have to see how he uh, um, what he does with it um, how about drops are coming in I like this, he's got a couple of medibacks just doing a double double drop just to kind of burn off a few drones, maybe kill a few lings as well um, and just kind of fortifying this location the only thing I can see about this is maybe tanks spread them out a bit uh, one good blinding cloud will of course just completely annihilate this and maybe even more widow mines into this composition more hellbats those beefy units so he drops in kills a few pros and so on drops in at this base as well and kills a few drones um, have a look he does get seven nothing majorly done but um Teffel yeah he's, he's about to hit his 2-2 two -two timing here um, and this is his kind of trademark trademark moment where he likes to um, just attack it's a very very precise timing and yeah now he is uh yeah now he's just kind of pushing out um and yeah it's a tough it's souls but this amazing little fortification he's got these ghosts um and plus two is about to finish but of course this huge huge concave is coming up for double right now we have a look. There we go. We're zooming on in. Look at this. The positioning from Tefl is absolutely insane. Really nice. And boom. I think this concave is absolutely massive. Sea tanks are in some nice positions right now. Just to kill off all of these boats and so on. But it does look like Tefl is going to break on through. And yeah, it's, it's a. Wow. Just busting through this with relative ease. Killing absolutely everything. And um, unfortunately, yeah, Seoul does get cleared up at this point, and there's a GG, and that was the end of the game there. But I mean, why would I show you a game of someone losing mech? Um, I, I just wanted to kind of. I mean, it's a build you could actually probably take into TVP, but um, it's I, I just like to see um, the mix up of uh, of builds um, from different players. Mech is a is a playstyle I feel is still evolving. I feel that this strategy potentially did, you know, has got um, room for uh, some maneuverability. Like it, he could uh, advance and uh, get something else out of it. But um, his plus two tag didn't quite finish in time. But anyhow, that that was the game. Um, I will bring some more shortly. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the subscribe button. Um, Thank you, and I'll see you soon.